everyone and welcome. My name's Lenny. This is the Banish Bin. And over here we have this week's special guest, which is Patrick Murphy. <laughs> um, well, yes, whereabouts in America are you, Patrick? Because I actually never asked that. I'm sorry? What was the question? Where, whereabouts in America are you? I'm living on the air, on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati, Cincinnati. WKRP. <laughs> so yes, no, I'm actually in the Cincinnati area. Yeah, cool, cool. So I have linked your channel below, but you said you're not really doing YouTube at the moment. But just in case you ever go back to it, I'll you know. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Here. My that was me. That was me. I had a. To... Right, it's awful when you hear yourself back. You go, oh, do I sound like that? <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I have linked Patrick's channel before below, so do go across um, and you know subscribe and then if um he does go back to it you know at least uh you'll have all these subscribers too <laughs> why thank you and i mean there's on my channel i do promos um so like if i do a promo for somebody i ask their permission to upload it you know for my catalog uh, i have cat videos out there back when i was doing live auctions yeah. those are on there too uh, they're kind of boring i'm going to be honest with you but uh, yeah no um do the YouTube things, as I say. <laughs> yeah, the YouTube things. So, you know, you were saying about um, uh, Radio Face. Um, do you actually do any work for radio? I have been doing amateur uh, radio since, oh, oh well, uh, way back in the day. I think it was, was it in W1 or W2? I don't remember <laughs> right now, but I know it was a March and it was a Tuesday on a sunny, snowy Friday. Back in uh, back in Nam. <laughs> uh, no, um, I yeah, I've been I've been involved in radio. I actually went I went to the Cincinnati Broadcasting School where they took my money and didn't do anything for me. No, um, so I actually do. I did go to broadcasting school. I've been doing amateur radio since I'd say the mid two thousands. I've done some uh, production work, voiceover work, uh, commercial work, et cetera, et cetera. So I've actually gotten paid my voice so i can consider myself a freelance i consider myself a freelance audio gentleman voiceover <laughs> actor yes voiceover uh, yeah actor and i don't know what other word you would use like if it's for adverts is that still classed as an ad actor then yeah voice actor yes ma'am mm. yeah cool okay so before we get started for anyone who hasn't been here before this is the Banish Bin. The Banish Bin is a series of things that I run basically that where I get fellow people to come on <laughs> and um, I give them some categories and they choose three things from that category that which didn't exist basically. And then they put their reasons why they shouldn't exist. I decide whether I want to save something from their three things and if I don't, I put it straight in the side chat and the side chat chooses what is banished essentially forever. And um, yeah. So I'm gonna... forever. Forever, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> One just... thing I will say, I would I would love to play a villain voice. I definitely a I villain think I have... Yes. Yeah. Maybe banished forever needs a villain voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I can do that. Can do yeah. That. Banished forever. <laughs> Maybe because when we do the charity, I always do a, well, I'm going to do a charity one later in the year where everyone who's done this can come back and they can put again three things, but then they have to argue it out with the panel type of thing as well as the side chat we'll get into that later but maybe we could do a whole you know advert voiceover evilness that would work i like evil i like evil you see yeah. in, in my younger days i ran with the devil herself so yeah. you know, what was she called? i'm i'm I, i'm by default at this point you know <laughs> <laughs> anyway okay we shall say hello to a few people. So, hello, Elaine, and hello, Lynn. I'm fine, thank you both, and I hope you are too. Hi, Sean. Hi, Pete. Hi, Bilbo. That's my brother. Um, uh, hi, Patrick. But well, it's already here. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Veronica. 
Uh, hi, Sharon. Uh, where are we? There, there. Hi, Glamour. Um, going down, going down. Hi, Chris. Hi, Brenda Reed. That's a new name. I'm guessing she's come from your side of the pond. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, Veronica says, we all know her as the devil. <laughs> Okay, hi Ian. So yeah, we're right at the bottom. Oh, there's Boo. Hello, hello, Patry Murphy sent me and I'm listening in on this beautiful spring day. Oh, brilliant. Uh, and Boo, check your email. I sent you some uh, some lines. Yeah, I need to message uh, Boo as well because I'm going to do that on Insta because she's going to take part in this. Um, I think it's in April and hopefully she'll be free. Well, we'll work something out though. She'll be a much better guest than me. I'm going to try. I'm going to do my darndest. I did my homework. I'm I sure my, you are. I got, my, I got my, 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 my note. I got my pencil. Yeah. But I, I've got a notebook as well because I have to write down what you say. Otherwise, by the time I get to the end, I've totally forgotten. So, you know, it's terrible. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Hi, Dodo as well. And Octawave. Um, okay. So the first category I gave you was Things people see. All right. So the things that people say. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, the first one I've got in the early 2000s. Well, not early. I'd say the mid 2000s as the smartphone began its rise to inf infamy. The word that just irked me to mm -hmm. death was selfie. Oh, I hated selfie. the word selfie. And then I think it was about 2012, 2014, they actually added the word to the Webster Dictionary, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And it's like, really? No, no, no. Okay, I, I whatever, fine. I'll just, I'm just, I'm just old. So that was, that would be my first one. I, the word okay. self. Okay. Uh, back in high school, rolling, rolling back to my high school days, I always hated the, the term, my bad, my <laughs> bad. It's like, I just, you're sorry. I apologize. Yeah. Not my bad. Yeah. Bad. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and, and echoing on, echoing on that. Uh, the continuous sorry. Mm. Like, I understand that you mess up, apologize, be sorry, but you're only sorry once. Yeah. Don't continuously do it because it puts you in now a, a vulnerable position to where people think they can take advantage of you if you're consistently sorry. And as I, as I was raising my hell spawn, I always told him, you're sorry once, bucko. So is that like two separate things from separated from my bad, but it's like a part of, if you know what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. I can see. Well, I do got a bonus. I do got a bonus, and I want to thank Veronica Mika for this because her and Boo and Glam actually kind of collaborated with me to because Patrick <laughs> Murphy, you know, he he is he sometimes he needs a little help. That boy. Um, the war, <laughs> the phrase, you'll know this because all the influencers on YouTube smash that like button. <laughs> smash the like button it's like you're not or or hulk says smash that like button it's like okay that's been <laughs> overused see i like the word light up what well, how how does my 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 phrase go let me check my script again hold on stopping in and say hi to light up that thumbs up <laughs> you know so see that that that's that's classic me i don't even pay attention to my own scripts so i just hmm. <laughs> so yeah okay so i'll go through them with you um starting with the smash the like button i hear the continuous like um what's the word promotion i really struggle with it for myself like i'm really bad i never advertise anything i oh i should i know i should but i'm terrible for it but i feel i don't know what i just feel really uncomfortable saying oh can you you know, smash the like button, as you said, and, um, you know, subscribe and bloody, bloody, I just, it just feels really, 
I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a English thing. But the word smash the like button is strange. Like, if you, if you could just say, you know, if you liked it, then give us, because I think we would say give us a thumbs up because it's, you know what I mean? Like the thumbs up type of thing. I don't know if that's worse or not. But it's just a bit awkward for me, the whole, that sort of thing anyway. Um, we don't say my bad um, <laughs> here, obviously. That it's an <laughs> Probably maybe some of the youngins do because, like, you know, I'm really not um, up to date with current uh, trends of things. So maybe it does. But I always think it sounds sassy. Like, my bad sounds sassy. You know what I mean? It's like, but also a little bit. Actually, I'm not sorry. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, Absolutely. yeah. It's not it, to me. It doesn't sound like you're really sorry. It's sounding like you're sorry, and you're saying sorry, but you don't really mean it. You're it's sorry you got like, caught. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe you got caught. That's the word. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, oh, my bad. You know, like it's your. It's still your fault, though. Or something. Hey, that's just how it comes across to me. But yep. you know. It's different here, I suppose. Um, and then uh, the selfie one. What else could you call it? Well, just, in the cellular industry, we actually called it the front-facing camera. So this is like, yeah, but I suppose it's like, I guess selfie is easier to see. It. However, it was it, the whole selfie thing is so overdone. You know what I mean? I it took a selfie. It, God, oh it's God, just constant, man. yeah. <laughs> and and that's the thing as well, right? When you're taking a selfie, you always have to look up because hence gets rid of any extra chinage, which you know. Yeah, you don't you don't want any of this. Going no, on. Yeah, no, no, you don't want that in. So you know, it's look up. You know what I mean? Then stick some filter on so you don't look anything like your face. You know, <laughs> you know, like you look like one of them brats cartoon dolls, <laughs> something like that, and it's just yeah. But right. it's, it's gone too far. And then to make it an actual word, you know, what next? What will be in there next? But ain't is still not a word, but selfies in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's anyway. strange. It is, isn't it? Hi, Joan. Uh, Sylvia said, that said, please gently caress the like button for, <laughs> for BGRDC. That's right. Gently caress yes. that. Just, like just, yeah, that. <laughs> okay. I always, uh, you know, when I'm promoting somebody, I would say, make sure to check out Lainey's channel. Go over to Big Girls Don't Cry. Click subscribe, hit that notification bell. Go into one of her videos and let her know that Patrick Murphy sent you, baby. That's right. Yeah. See? And that works. It's fine. Do you know what I mean? But like, smash that like button. Oh, do you know what else I hate? What do? What, how many likes do I want for this for this video? Right, we're aiming for five thousand likes or whatever. And you're like, oh, shut up, man. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I am I gonna win a new car? Do I get a car if I if we get there? You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's only a little toy car, obviously. Right. <laughs> Yeah, Sean's saying it should be called your pick, your picture. <laughs> um, Sean says, Patrick, my hubby loves your Cobra Commander and Elvira. Um, that, that'll be uh, Welsh Tony, who's actually Scottish, but lives in Wales and is married to a Welsh woman. We like to confuse things anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, if there's a block I've been around is so I get it. The link to Patrick Channel doesn't seem to be working. Oh, no. Hi, Lindsay and Alvin. If someone who's got a, um, a, a what you call it, a thingy. Wrench. That's a word. A Louise here, what do we say? Spanner. We say spanner, but then it's also known as a tool, which is kind of not a nice word. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, maybe it was because I did it and then I redid the whole thing because of not being here last week. Anyway. Joan says, I like it when people say hit the like button an odd number of times. What, like 
29. <laughs> that would that would affect me, I think, <laughs> if it was like that. I don't like odd numbers like that. Right, so after what I've said, I'm not going to save any of them. So I'll let the chat decide. If you want to banish the word selfie, <laughs> then write selfie. If you want to banish my bad, write bad. And if you want to banish smash the like button, write smash. So selfie, bad, or smash. There you go. You can decide. Hi, Ian. I'm a tool. I'm here. Well, you know, goes without saying. <laughs> You know, he is my friend, honest. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to add up. Oh, I'm thinking it's bad. It's quite a few for bad, isn't there? There is. But I think selfie's coming up in second uh, second place. There, smash. We've only got okay, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Emma. Seven. Hi, Joy. Seven, one. Yeah, it's definitely my bad. So there you go. You have banished my bad. I have now banished you to the fiery pits of hell. <laughs> so people can only say, I'm sorry. Tell my ex. Uh, tell my ex. There's still some uh, CDs of mine that she has while you're down there. Like, <laughs> anyway, continuing right <laughs> along. You, you, you CDs from your ex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your second category is films. I've only got one answer for this, <clears throat> but it encompasses a lot of them, so. Okay. M musicals. Okay. So you're not going to pick actual musicals. Any musical. I cannot stand any music. I, I and I'm going to be. I'm going to get um, probably kicked off of YouTube or or boot or whatever. I can't. I don't even like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm. I just there's something about me. I don't. I like a good soundtrack in the background yeah but i don't need i don't need the story sung to me there's a okay. time place for it but you know like maybe a little jingle here or there but let's break out into song and dance yeah tonight today tuesday i'm hanging out with a lady we're on her <laughs> channel we're doing the things it's great it's great life is good boop, 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 boop. Yeah, no. Okay, it just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Clama said the gay man inside me is curled up and crying. <laughs> yeah, so pick a musical. I probably don't like it. Mm. But isn't all music telling a story? I'm sorry? Isn't all music telling a story? Right, but I go to watch a film or i sit down to watch a movie i don't sit down to watch a musical in music has such a, a huge influence in a in a film even though the bits that are non-singing essentially you know what i mean right well like okay so like my my better half like she loves musicals right she wants to go see hamilton and Okay, so like, okay, here, here's a prime example. Like, why does Back to the Future need to be a musical? Why does Beetlejuice need to be a musical? Those were great as is. I don't need Marty McFly or Michael Keaton to say, say it once, say it twice, third time's charm. <laughs> I don't need that in a music format. Yeah. Hmm. See, I think uh, this this would be my argument in the sense I really like musicals, so therefore I can't I can't banish this. I can't put it in there. I have to save the musicals for the sake of anyone who's ever twirled in a skirt. <laughs> Me, I, mean, don't, I have, I have, but you know, it it's you know, and then sang and danced around your room with the hairbrush, of course. Um, 
but I do. I love. I love a musical. I love to. Like I haven't seen. Um, I want, I'd love to go and see um, Wicked because I just think it would be amazing. Um, just from the clips that I've seen of it, but I have watched Hamilton. Um, and what else have I watched as a musical? Like Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, like old school at and West End, West End story. Not West End, West Side, even. <laughs> but I, I do agree with you that some things didn't need to be made a musical. Right. And, and I agree with Ian in the, the new Wonka film, which the Willy Wonka thing didn't need to be made a, a musical. You know what I mean? Like, I will give you that. There is, like, there's no need to change certain things to make them a, a musical. But West Side Story and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and, like, you saw the old school Doris Day stuff that was full of music. Like, you know what I mean? That why you, um, yeah, as John said, do a deer, a female deer, you know, like, um, Sound of Music. When Sound of Music came out, it was like, amazing wasn't it back in the day i mean obviously i wasn't here because i'm not that old <laughs> i'm old but i'm not that old but yeah i do agree with you that sometimes they do go overboard like okay i love star trek right and i've been watching the, the um <clears throat> what was it um, um oh what, what's the one with pike oh my god drawing a blank um strange new worlds okay mm -hmm. So it's 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 the Star Trek with with uh, Captain Pike, and I think it was like the second or third episode into the second season they decided to do a musical. You know what? I don't need Star Trek in a musical format. Click off. No, no. Now you see, I'm not a fan of Star Trek, right? Because to me, you know, I remember like back in the day with Spock and oh, what's his name, and I always forget his name. William, is it William? Shannon. It was the one, yeah, him. It was like I remember it, it being on TV, and it was like they're in space. He gets beamed up somewhere. He lands on a planet. He always ends up with some alien woman, and then um, he rips his shirt. That's the end. That's the whole series format for me. And and I have the same feeling with James Bond or so anything James Bond related. He like doesn't die even though he's hanging off the edge of a cliff by a fingernail. Somehow he doesn't die. <laughs> the woman he sleeps with always tries to kill him. You know what I mean? And he has a shaken not stirred. And that oh, and there's some magical gadget that yeah. I get it. No. And my response to the Star Trek uh, comment is, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a great show. Thanks for checking me out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You can hit me. No, no. Please. If anything, if anything, this category, since I obviously have started a controversy, we need to just ban Patrick Murphy. I think that's the answer that everybody is looking for. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just that yeah, Kirk's got really bad taste in women. Like, that was hey, now, easy, alien. Veronica, easy. But Kirk's they do all turn out to be an alien. Like, how does he not notice that they've got some weird ears in the first place or something? Have you not noticed that? They're like, you know. I'm down for an alien. I really? Mean, it's like I mean, Katy Perry song, <laughs> you know? See, seeing that, seeing that, um, you know, how would you know if it was a woman these days with some of these nanky tick eyebrow things that they have? I mean, why, why did they have nanky ticks for eyebrows? Anyway, yeah. Swoosh. <laughs> but um, let's uh, speak. Let's see what the chat that I missed. Uh, coming soon, Patrick Murphy, the musical tickets on sale March the 1st. Be fast or be last. Oh my lord, no. No, <laughs> PCV. I stand by Tommy, the who is righteous above the law. Tommy and his um pinball wizard. Mary Popping. I assume she means poppins, but it'll have auto recorrected her. The sound of music was released in the 29th of March 1965. Wow. Ali bands all musicals apart from Grease and Mary Poppins. Yeah, 
April 1st, not March the 1st. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit out of date. It went before. <laughs> <laughs> to meet Patrick Murphy, listen to 10 hours of musical numbers, press two. <laughs> no, absolutely no. There would have to be some charity event, and I'm talking like, I don't know, some like really bad off situation before I would even consider doing something like that. And I'll press yeah. it to charity. <laughs> <laughs> press it too. <laughs> it's like all the Disney films. It's like, oh. God, yes, I know the birds and the okay. So, all right, let's 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 move forward. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> don't be sad picking on Disney as well. <laughs> so, after all that, people, and seeing as you're just voting on what to do with Patrick here, um, I'm gonna see if music goes because I can. And you see, if you'd have chose three, if you did chose three different ones. I wouldn't have been able to save them all. So you nearly got two in, or one in at least, because they would have had <laughs> a made a decision. But because you just chose it as a whole, I got to save it all. Which, to be fair, actually, some of it doesn't require saving, but yeah. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just one of those, I'm, I'm one of those all or none people. Yeah. <laughs> Genocide. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank no bother, John. No bother. I love you tomorrow. Poor little Annie, you would have banned Annie. You oh know? God, yes. I was forced to watch that as a kid and on the on the <laughs> drive in. I'm sitting there, my my young self. I was in the single digits. It's like I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be. I yeah. do not, what part of I do not want to be here do you not understand? <laughs> Grateful little bastard I was. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so the next one is songs. Okay, so any song about drinking and driving, which encompasses a lot of country songs. Right. Uh, there is a, um, there's one in particular, Bottoms Up. And as I was looking for this, because I couldn't remember the name of it, I accidentally, well, not accidentally, I went in and I, I typed in truck bed, because I know there was a truck bed mentioned in the song, and I was just trying to you know piece it together. Yeah. I should have went into incognito mode. Do you know how many country songs about truck beds there are out there? <laughs> My Lord. So, but any, yeah. So that's that's the number one offender, bottoms up just cannot stand that truck truck gonna get drunk in my truck 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 uh, my tractor she thinks my tractor sexy how did that become a hit <laughs> that's a song she thinks my tractor sexy yes 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 yes, yes. <laughs> let me get let me get the artist hold on let me go to incognito mode so i don't get this <laughs> get the hey since you like this you're gonna love this no no i'm not thank you very much <laughs> mr google Oh, uh, let me see here. Let's see. Should Hello, we've think? got um I've got a brand new combine harvester. Huh? We've got a song called I've Got a Brand New Combine Harvester. Okie dokie then. But nobody says it's sexy. Yeah, no. Kenny Chesney, she thinks my tractor's sexy. Official video. The release date was release date. August 4th, 1999. Give us that great hit. Thank you. Never heard of it. <laughs> and there's another one, another great country song. Let me make sure I got the title right. Brad Paisley with Ticks. As in the things you pick off your animals? That's exactly what you and Honey's going to do when you go out in your truck and get drunk. You guys going to be picking ticks <laughs> off of each other's naked bodies, Honey. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. And people fall for this stuff? Yeah. This, this it, I mean, it, it's, it, it went to number, I don't, I don't want to say number one, but it was definitely on the charting, uh, charting, 
Billboard, whatever. So Tix, the song, it was released in March 2007, the first single from his 2007 Fifth Gear. The song reached number one on the U.S. Yep, so that one made a number one. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> uh, country music's not big here, so not really. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, and as a bonus, there's another one out there called Take Your Hands Off the Wheel. Or, it's not that. Let me see. But anyway, it implies, you know, take your hands off the wheel, let Jesus take over, right? Well, mm -hmm. there's 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 some old man, whenever it snows here in Cincinnati, he's going to be on the top side of the 275 loop. He'll start skidding out whenever a snowflake falls. He takes his hands off the wheels, put it in the hands of the Lord's, slides through Cincinnati, winds up south in Kentucky. Oh takes God. it literally so thanks who whoever made that song what does it take take the wheel take the wheel and i think uh john said jesus take the wheel that's a good old country song but i'm not um religious in any way you know so yeah, carrie underwood gave us jesus take the wheel so that's uh kind of like yeah that's a worry <laughs> But yeah, we've got a I've got a brand new combine harvester. Now I'll give you the key. That's something like that. A new combine. It's, yeah, you need to play it. <laughs> oh Lord God, why? <laughs> but then we've had like so many like Gangnam style and um what else has become famous? Yeah, it's by the Wurzels. That's right. Um, and then you've got um, Baby Shark, which I'm assuming was over there as well. It was. Crazy Frog. Um, this you know, Crazy up. Frog, there's, there's interesting because Crazy Frog is kind of like a a uh, sampling mashup of Axel F from the Beverly Hills soundtrack back in, uh, I want to say, 84, 82. Which was cool until someone put ding, 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 all ding. over it. Yep. And then they just, yeah. <laughs> it's just a don't come for gang Gangnam style. I know, but Veronica, it got, so, it got to the point of like, let it stop now, please. Really. I mean, I think looking back after a while is cool, but when you remember, oh, God, just drove you insane. Yeah, everyone's ringtone, wasn't it? Everywhere. It was just madness. So looking at these songs, we've got Bottoms Up, you know, Scooby-Doo. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of like, kind of half wanting to... She thinks my set my track is sexy. I kind of want to see if it just was fucked at the title makes me laugh. Which is like <laughs> oh, I don't know. And then what? Jesus is it the one about ticks is the last one? Yeah, so we had bottoms up, uh tractor sexy, ticks, and the bonus was the Jesus one. So uh -huh, right. Um <laughs> Do I, do I save it just for the laughs of that? I don't know. I kind of feel like I need to listen to it. And if I if I don't, if I ban it, then I can't listen to it, can I? You can have a pre-ban listen. Mm. Yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> okay, I'll let the people decide. So people have decide, chat. If you want to banish bottoms up, right up. If you want to banish, she thinks my track is sexy, type sexy. If you want to banish ticks, type ticks. And if you want to banish Jesus take the wheel, type wheel. That's a lot, isn't it? Up, sexy, ticks, wheel. See, I, I came I with bonus, bonus answers. We did? Well... You, you had one, two less than the one before. Now bonus ones, like I'll change yeah, so it. All, <laughs> it all washes out. It ticks explains my swearing. It does not. You lie. Oh, hard choices. Yes. So we've got a few ticks. A wheel. A sexy. Hmm. 
two sexies. Looking um, like this winning. Can 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 we have a, a fifth option since I put through four answers out there? Uh, can, can can I can I do E for four hundred, Alex? All. Who? <laughs> uh, Could you I'll do what? E, I'll take E all for four hundred, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the answer is E, and all of them banish them all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, because, like in in um like I don't know how many people I know a lot of people in America like country, it's really big, isn't it? But here yeah, yeah. not so much. I know like some people do. And then there is the odd bit of country that flips into the mainstream, you know, like with sort of Kenny Rogers and Taylor Swift came from country, didn't she originally? She did, that's her roots, T Swift. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Grandpa loves uh, country music, so he'd be pissy about it. And Joan loves country. And I do like some country, so, you know, I and I train, she's cool. And um, like I said, Kenny, my mum was a massive fan of Kenny Rogers, so. And Dolly. And we can't not have Dolly, can we? Islands in the stream. That is what they are. Nothing. Yeah, that, that's true. That's How can true. Be wrong? <laughs> Many people are. <laughs> yeah, Willie Nelson and who else is it? Who sang um, Stand By Your Man? Tammy Wynette? I almost said Loretta Lynn, but Stand By Your Man. Stand by yeah. man. Tammy won it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and Ian likes Luke Combs. So Combs, Combs, Combs. Is it? Whatever. <laughs> right. Where was I? So I think we established that it was the ticks, wasn't it? I think we're going to go with ticks. We're going to ban the ticks. Oh, the ticks. Yes. Johnny Cash. Yes. He's cool as well. So yeah, we can't we can't banish the whole of country because there's a lot of uh, decent things. Ironically enough, <clears throat> at the uh, at the school that I went to for broadcasting, we had a uh, internet uh, country station. So that's how I got my start. It was in country music, believe it or not. Oh. So I I don't mind some country songs, and you know I, I'm I tend to gravitate more towards like the rock and pop country songs, but some of them are just you know oh my goodness. All right, so <laughs> yeah, that, I mean these are the extreme of ridiculous, mm -hmm. I suppose. <laughs> okay, so the next ca uh, category is things people do. Things that people do, and I think Veronica Mika just heard the quarter uh, get inserted, so uh, she'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Speaker phone in public. Okay? okay. Look, if you're guilty of this, I do not need to be a part of your conversation because if you make me a part of your conversation, I'm going to talk about my explosive diarrhea that I've had and continuously had. That's why I'm at the <laughs> store buying some wipes because, or buying some Depends because I can't stop myself from exploding everywhere. Thank you very much. Um, number two mm -hmm. is going to be people who drive trucks for safety. Now, I don't know how it is in the UK. I think your guys' policy is a little bit different. But over here, trucks can get away with being this gigantic, obnoxious, again, rolling back to the country. Um, they, they, they make these trucks so big now because they don't have to abide by car regulations. And mm -hmm. look, I'm in a 2006 Camry that has been long since paid for. If you think that I'm going to get out of your way because you're in a big F4000 that's brand new and shiny, I don't care. I will take your insurance money and my body will go out a piece of my window somehow so I can get more money out of you. Okay. Yeah. Um, they just obnoxious trucks. I, uh, anyway. Um, 
Uh, I thought I had another one for that. Hold on. Do I want to? Do I want to? Okay. Now this might be a little controversy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So people who who say to me or say their freedom of speech. Look, you have the freedom of speech. That doesn't give you the freedom for me to care. Yeah. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I'm not required to actually listen to what you're saying. <laughs> so those are my three. Okay. Um, so the, the big truck thing, it's not a thing here, really. I mean, there's a thing for um, white vans here. Uh, no offense, Ian. Um, <laughs> his has got a stripe. And there's the, um, as Sharon's put, this kind of like the Land Rover mums. You know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, so maybe, but as a person who doesn't drive, it, out, apart from in the wheelchair, it's not a thing for me, I suppose. Although people are, it's vans are annoying, I guess, in the sense of like, because they park over the pathway. So like, it's a struggle for like being in a wheelchair, I have to go on the road. But anyway, that's a different story. <laughs> Glamour's was super in- Impressed because that was damn right quiet for you. <laughs> I'm trying to be somewhat professional here as I'm a guest today. Yeah. Um, Chris is saying it's the drivers, not the vehicles. That's for sure. But the, as as you were saying that they do that for the sake of safety, but it's because they want to. It's like my dad's bigger than your dad, but mm-hmm. in vans or trucks or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, you don't. I- I think I know exactly what you're saying. So, because you mentioned Land Rover Rovers, which over mm-hmm. here is considered an SUV, but that yeah. kind of falls in the same category. Is because it's an SUV, they don't have to uh, abide by the same stipulations as car manufacturers yeah. do. So they get away with putting their headlights up so high that it just like fries your brain as you like <laughs> drive on to come, you know, coming onto them. Um, but they just they, they got this arrogance about them. Look, and, and, and the thing of it is, like, they buy the brand new trucks and they don't use them for truck purposes. Yeah, that's what I was going to say as well. It's not that they need them for the purpose of what they were built for. Right. And and, and now they've made, like, extended cab 450. You can seat your whole family in your truck. If you yeah. look at these, there's actually less truck bed. It's like a status, isn't it, truck. rather than an um, actual thing. And it, it's the same with... Um, it's the same with, like, there was a thing here with dogs, for instance. It's awful to say, but they became a status symbol, symbol for, like, the breed of dog you had for, a, like, a certain person, like, certain type of person. Do you know what I mean? And it, it's the same with the truck thing for me. They don't need it for the purposes it was built for. They use it for the status and the, look at me type of thing instead <laughs> right absolutely <laughs> um ian saying i'm telling us off uh, uh picking on van men but to be fair to ian ian does use his for the purpose it was meant and some other weird purposes but we're going to that anyway <laughs> I am joking, obviously. And yes, Sharon, Karen isn't in ever. Right, okay. So what was the other thing? This speakerphone thing, I have to admit that I am guilty of this, okay? Um, But not in a, I don't do it in a, like if I was in the supermarket, I wouldn't do it. Do you know what I mean? If there was a lot of people, if I'm like, say, on my way in the wheelchair to the park, I'll put it on, I put on speaker and I usually rest it on my chest while I'm going along. <laughs> Probably well, not a good a, idea. <laughs> but you hit the nail right on the head. If you're in a park and it's kind of an outside setting, yeah, it's still, but it's not like supermarket. Like, yeah, I'm here like, trying to like, like try to buy my 
dollar spaghettios because I'm too poor to buy anything else. And then yeah. I got Miss Rich thing over there. Like, oh my God, Becky, I was at this party and like they had this wine and it was, <laughs> wasn't this good wine. And I just wanted the other wine and like my mom and my dad and blah, 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 blah. I was like, shut the up. up. <laughs> See, that's the beauty of me. You heard it, but I actually didn't say it. <laughs> Hi, Lana. Yeah, I am guilty of it a bit. Um, and I do prefer it, but partly because it's just easier. Like I'm concentrating on doing something with, if I've got my camera with us, I'll have my camera in my hand and obviously I have to drive with the other hand. So, But I wouldn't, like I said, be in the middle of a supermarket and just have it on and have a load of people around us and annoy them. That's just, you know, not not what you need to do. And it's like, do I have to be quiet now in public because you're on the phone? What's yeah. the etiquette here? And what if I accidentally pass gas? Am I rude? Well, yeah, of course yeah. I'm rude if I'm passing gas, but <laughs> come here, little <laughs> child. <laughs> anyway. There's a guy on TikTok. Um, and he he does these phone calls that he speaks loud enough so that people next to him can hear. But oh, yeah. it's always yeah. really com- controversial. Have you seen him? Uh, and he's I haven't like- seen that because I'm afraid of TikTok. Um, but no, I've seen very similar similar skits yeah yeah he's got like he, he speaks loud enough next to someone so they can hear what them, what he's saying and one of the things he does say is he talks about having explosive diarrhea and then the person <laughs> like you can see in the thing the person next to him sort of just disappearing out of the wheel like just in case they catch someone from him and then it and then there's another one where he's like he's like I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and it get all like this, and he's in, but I've slept with your auntie or something, and like they all get like wow, like this, but it's all just made up. But yeah, it's quite funny. <sighs> okay, what else was the last one? Uh, the the freedom of street speech thing. Yeah, people have the right to say what they want, but as you said, you don't have to sit and listen. Yeah, exactly. You have the freedom to walk away. Mm-hmm. Simple as. Um. <laughs> I'm actually going to save the speakerphone thing just because of the fact that I do it. <laughs> I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't do it to, like I said, I don't do it rudely. I wouldn't, you know, be there with loads of people. I don't want them all to know me business. So, yeah. But I just find it easier. Um, What was the next one? <laughs> right, so... People of the side chat, if you want to ban people who they have speed and freedom of speech, I nearly said speed of speech there, but it still works, doesn't I it? I wouldn't say ban freedom of speech. I would say ban people's, uh, I don't want to phrase this. Uh, so it's that you have to listen. Exactly. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. But you, which is kind of like, you know, when people who, like maybe a certain religion or um, have certain polit, pol, pol, I can't see it political oh. views or whatever, and then they try and push that on you. That's kind of like you know, like there's a guy in the town. He always stops you for things, and then and then he makes you, tries to make you feel bad by saying, "Oh, so you don't want to help people such and such?" But like, do you know what I mean? It's yeah, right. Yes, Sylvia. Ban people using it to make their point heard. Yeah, exactly, Veronica. Freedom of speech is not an excuse for being a fuckwit, though. I haven't heard the word fuckwit for ages. That's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so I did, how would I word that, though? Um, ban people for trying to make their point heard. Uh, what's the word I'm needing? We'll see a herd because I can't think. So we'll we'll call it herd, and then um, so people with the big trucks that don't need them, and to just use them. So what should we say there? Truck. Truck. Yeah. Truck. truck. There's, a, there's a lot of trucks in my answers today. Have you noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> You're a truckist. Is that even I a am, thing? I'm an anti-trucker. An anti-trucker. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, light up the chat for truck. Truck or herd. Yeah. Uh, 
with the freedom of speech, you find out who the fuckwits are. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, but and I appreciate their their open honesty. Just don't expect me to give a damn about what you're talking about. Yeah. Right. But then that's like that, you know, that's like if I came on and talked about stuff that had happened to me uh, on here, and then I expected every single person to watch my video, which they all should. I mean, obviously, but uh, <laughs> but you know, it's one of them things, isn't it? Like, but then in the same sense, it's like I don't go on to someone's channel and think, oh, this is this is cool. I'll watch this. But I also don't go out on someone's channel and then go think, this is, oh, I don't like this. I'll put in the comments what I think they should say or what I think they should do. Because bollocks, just find a channel that you do like. You know what I mean? Right. Change the channel. You can't you can't do that, no glamours, because then I'm, I'm, I won't be able to drive and hold my camera and be on the phone at the same time. That's lots of things, isn't it? <laughs> you can do it apart from for people in wheelchairs. Does that work? <laughs> so I think truck's going to win this round. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Truck has it. Opinions are like assholes. That they are. Sorry, I say assholes, but you say asshole, don't you? Asshole. Uh, ass yeah, asshole. How do you say it? Asshole. Asshole. Arse. Arse. Yeah, asshole. Arsehole. <laughs> well, you say asshole. Asshole. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Right. Where are we now? Um, sports. So your next category is sports and anything to do with it. Sports. Do the thing. Win the points. Sports ball. Um, yeah. I'm going to ban professional football here in America because it is a multi-billion dollar business that if you think that that is real, you've got another thing coming. Okay. You, it, it, the idea that professional football is real is about as real as thinking professional wrestling is real. Yeah. It's all staged. You cannot, you cannot for the life of me tell me that a multi-billion dollar business is going to be given to some guys on a field up to chance. No. no. So There's by no professional football, you're talking about American the football, NFL. Right? Yes, ma'am. Right. So for me, football is football. Soccer. American, yeah. yeah. American yes, yes. football to me, is our kind of rugby minus the helmets and stuff because they don't use them here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, another thing about uh, sports, kind of echoing the first, uh, this all kind mm -hmm. of echoes, but I, I did separate them. So right. the next things I would I would do for sports is major pay for the sports ball players, like getting $5 million dollars a season mm. and then all of a sudden an accident happens and you're out for the season yeah but you still get paid don't you yeah i wish i could get paid for stuff like that me too um and then last but not least or okay well actually there is one i i, get, I did give a bonus but uh the marketing that goes behind the sports mm -hmm. ball um did I really need an ESPN two, three, however many sports channels? Do I need to watch golf at four o'clock in the morning? Do I need to watch tennis at two o'clock in the morning? And now today, the the challengers are facing off in the greatest game of badminton that was ever played. <laughs> yeah, great, awesome. You're playing badminton. Wow. I mean, if you want to play a real game. Get some old 70s metal tipped lawn darts, then we'll play. Okay. <laughs> and they're banned. <laughs> they are banned. <laughs> yeah. But too many people got stabbed with them and, and they, or pinned to the floor by their foot. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the marketing, the whole thing is, like, huge. And I, I would say it's probably, I mean, it's big here, like, 
for football, football, <laughs> soccer, football. Um, it's huge, you know what I mean? But I think the American side of things always just seems to take things even bigger. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, and and as you, as for like, obviously the money that goes into that is mental, you know. And then on top of that, the money that they get paid is absolutely mental, and the obsession and stuff like football here or soccer, as you would call it. Like it, it just. It was always, you know, it was always that little kid that dreamed to play one day for the, for their their club, their whatever. It was never about money, but it's so much more about money now, and it's like really annoying. Like the like there should be limits on how much that can be paid. I know that people say because. People are very vocal here if someone's doing something wrong within the team. They get a lot of stick, as it were, a lot of uh, stuff thrown at them, not li literally but verbally, do you know what I mean, kind of thing, and it must have an effect. However, you know, someone can shout at me what they like if they pay me 100 grand a week, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, say what you like, I don't care, give me 100 grand. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then with American football, one, I don't get it. And I know, like, I, I've looked at the pitch and it has, like, the different little segments, right, that you have to run to or whatever. I'm not really sure how that works anyway. I know that you've got to cross the end line um, to get somewhere. But because it's running with the ball, how can they call it football? Like, that doesn't make sense in my head. Handball? <laughs> um, I, I I, I I can I can honestly say I've never watched a full game from beginning to end, so I don't understand yeah. the rules. I don't understand how it's played. I would like to say one other thing too. Um, I was so happy when they decided to spend more time. I don't want to say more time, but they were featuring Taylor Swift at football games because karma's a bit. And because of a because of a boyfriend being a. Being America. a football player, right? Football player, and the yeah. fans were were losing their 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 poop about it because we didn't come in and see Taylor Swift. Oh yeah, well now you know how all that marketing that we've had to be subjected to over the year feels. So sit down, and shut up. Handball was taken. Yeah, handball was taken. Hug a ball then. <laughs> Don't drop the ball. I don't know. Well, I mean, and plus, is it actually ball shaped? It's rugby ball shaped, isn't it? It's not round. It's like, like, oval. It's like yeah, like, which is a rugby ball shape rather know. than a football shape. But whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but I do like football. I support my own, you know, area team type of thing. Um, and it's it's not as dramatic as it's not as as you say, and it's like scripted in a sense. It, like proper soccer, football can't be scripted. Lower, they've brought in more rules and things which have do have an effect on it. Yeah. One bonus thing for this uh, round, I want to put in there construction for new stadium complexes mm. i can't tell you how many sites here just locally in cincinnati how many neighborhoods have been uprooted for losing teams like did we really need a fourth soccer stadium did we really yeah. need riverfront row totally demolished all these warehouses that were reconverted into something from you know the early 1900s oh no we gotta have a new stadium down there bob so you know of course our taxes go up because they decide to build a new stadium that for a losing team the, the yeah. they went to the super bowl twice which i think again there was a new tax levy coming for a new bridge that they need to build that's why they went to the super bowl to get follow the money trail what is going on in your city if that's going to take presence, well, of course they're going to make it so far in the league because yeah. they want money. Anyways, mm, hi. 
<laughs> uh, Joy saying they should get paid when they score goals. They get bonuses for that, Joy, unfortunately. So they actually get paid and then they get bonuses. Or at least fo football, English footballers do. So, yeah. Um, Sharon says, Taylor Swift is enough. I don't agree, Sharon. I actually like Taylor Swift. I think she's, um, I think she's had some hard times, you know, with like, what everything that's gone on with our music and stuff like that. But um I like her music. I like the fact that she fights back in it. I like the fact that she fights for um being a woman in that industry because it's all about men, isn't it? So yeah, I like her. Um run ball would be better. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Run ball. Tell them to go change it, Glamis, get them told. <laughs> Um, Veronica says Taylor Swift is a successful and talented businesswoman, just mind her own business and people hate her for it. What else is new? It's like that obsession, isn't it? Because she's at the football thing, people are now like, Oh, she's spoiling it. Why would she be spoiling it? She's just there watching her boyfriend, too. You know, why pay that much attention to her? Just watch your game that you went for. Doesn't make sense. So he says it's not symmetrical, um, is what you mean, Lenny. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's not a circle. <laughs> Um, the pay tax pay check disparity between an NFL quarterback and a high school maths teacher is astronomical. It's not, yeah, completely. It's the same with like um, medical workers here and all that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? It's it, the difference is mental. Um, yeah, I mean, they, the city will support, you know, the the losing sports team. You know, mm -hmm. they will do the taxes for the new complex, but if they if a school asks for updated books, new computers, ah, oh, we don't got yeah. the money, but we sure the hell got the money to build the stadium. Yeah. Mental, mental. Um. So yeah, I'm not gonna save any of it. So what I'll do is, um, oh, <laughs> if you want to ban the marketing around sports, then type mark. <laughs> Make it shorter. If you want to ban the peer packets around sports, type peer. If you want to ban American football, type foot. So foot, peer, or mark. There you go. That work? <laughs> um, hello, TFG Dusty. I'm guessing it's a friend of yours. Somebody's. Um, I don't believe so. No? Oh, well, hello anyway. <laughs> I think Pierre's going to take this one. Um, where was we? Glamour's contractly the lowest per pay in the NFL. The ones who mostly sat on the bench are paid 600000 a year. It's mad. And that's without, like, sort of sports, like the, um, what is it called? Promotional work that they'll get as well, money. Yeah, all the uh, contracts that they sign with the, you know, distributors, brands the, and the, all sorts, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, brand deal, advertising deal, yada yada. Mm. But, you know, the the people like Lemma said, the people that are trying to, you know, educate our children. Yeah, they don't need anything. They're they're they're, they're fine. Yeah. We are now going to observe Patrick Murphy's chair, ladies and gentlemen, as he goes refills his coffee. But he's still here, so. <laughs> oh, it's Evan. My nephew, but I didn't even realise. I forgot you changed your name, Evan. TFG Dusty. I am still. Yeah, here. Pierre has it. Um, it's quite a few for Pierre. Yeah, definitely gone to Pierre. What we've got left? We've got three. See, see, I can't even speak. Three categories left, not three. <laughs> Fancy not recognizing you. No comment. <laughs> pay has it, ladies and gentlemen. Ban the pay. I'm asking you, I'm asking you if TFG was someone you knew and it's my nephew, but I forgot you changed his name. <laughs> I heard that. I did hear that. Right? Um, do you mind if we take a quick intermission? I got to take a little, I got a little body break. Is that okay? Yeah, no problem. All righty. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you hit, uh, click subscribe, hit that notification. So, don't don't forget to sell out your, your mute because we've had issues before. Oh, honey, I don't <laughs> take you to the bathroom with me. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing that may be coming up later in tonight's show. <laughs> we've had it before, so, you know. 
Um, so Veronica is saying, yeah, the priorities are way off. Teachers, nurses, librarians, don't, et cetera, don't make shit. Exactly. It's mental. It's mental. Like, the same with, like, firefighters, doctors, nurses. Um, what else? People who put their lives in danger, you know what I mean? The police, anything else like that. Be right back getting my mac cheese. Mac and cheese, is that? Not sure. Um, okay, Patrick, we can try to talk about you, yeah. P-Gate, yes. P-Gate was a thing on this channel, and um, in the last lot of banish bins I did a couple of years back, uh, someone had a mic on, and they went to the toilet with said mic on, so we all heard everything. Yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, yeah. Yeah, people who work in care, carers definitely don't get enough. Um, and it's it's so easy to get into care these days, but, yeah. And he's back. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, welcome. We had an interesting stream. <laughs> Don't know where you were. You're next to a river again, Sylvia. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the next category, it is drinks. Drinks. Yeah. Um. Again, this is going to be an unpopular opinion. So you you probably already think lowly of me anyway. So. You know, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Well, I told um, you, like people would um, slate you forever. So you know. I, my my first answer mm -hmm. is going to be Starbucks. Starbucks. The whole entire chain can burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Overpriced pea water, for lack of a better term. I have had truck stop coffee that's been on the burner for since 2 a.m., better than what i'm going to pay for one i'm not going to pay starbucks okay that's just a bunch mm. of dumb thing to happen number two it it's it, it's perp it's already burnt and look if i want an extra large oh you want to vent it no i said an extra large okay don't be making these words up or you know borrowing <laughs> other words to make yourself sound <laughs> fancy whatever so <laughs> Starbucks is going to be my number one choice. <clears throat> um, number two, and I think people from the 80s may remember this a little bit more, drinking raw eggs. Okay. And number three, with help from Veronica Mika, energy drinks. Yeah. Okay. Right, Starbucks, I think I've had twice in my whole life, right? One was a hot chocolate. It was fine. It wasn't anything special, but it was expensive. And the other one was some sort of lime drink in the summer, which I have to admit was really nice and refreshing, but it was £4 something for this little drink. And I'm like, it's ridiculously priced. It's mental. So, yeah, I have no... Is she, also, like, there's a few different ones, like Costa, Starbucks, and Subway is another thing. Subway, I remember the one I'm making an advert for um, whatever job title, and it was uh, the job. The job title I had was sandwich artist. So for someone to come and make a sandwich at Subway, but they were calling them a sandwich artist. Mm -hmm. I mean. How ridiculous is that? Absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, and I, I don't like all that stuff with the different sizes and what they call it. Like, what is it you said? Fenty or something? I don't know. It's all a bit weird. Um, the second one is the drinking of raw egg things. Wasn't that was like when there was a lot of uh, weightlifting thing back in the day and everyone used to drink raw eggs and stuff? Well, not everyone because I wouldn't have done it. I couldn't have even... I mean, I love eggs cooked but drinking it raw oh no no definitely not and like can you imagine just going no no definitely not uh and then energy drinks i really hate them um my son drinks them a lot he drinks monster 
and I wished he didn't. And there's loads of different ones, isn't there? Like the ones that gives you wings and all of that. Yeah, Red mm -hmm. Bull's the, the wings. That's the one, yes, Red Bull. And then there's Monster and then there's the Brando one, ones. And I swear that all of them just look, they look like someone's piss that's gone wrong, to be fair. Like that's a sample that's going to the doctors and it's going to come back with an infection with an std with something the color of that way is not normal <laughs> so that is the one thing it looks like and the second thing it smells like sparkly sherbet mm -hmm. and it's just rank why would that it's horrible and does it does it actually give you like a boost i don't know what's the point of having one for two minutes as well it's not good for you is it right really not so None of these are going to be saved. Um, yeah. So I'll let the chat decide if they want to banish drinking raw eggs. And you can put eggs. If you want to banish energy drinks, put energy. And if you want to banish Starbucks, put star. So star, eggs, or energy. Choices is yours. You know, I should have probably preceded the show uh, during the intro saying, the views and comments of Patrick Murphy are not necessarily those endorsed by Laney. Um, viewer no. discretion survives. And I also want to put a, an actual serious disclaimer out there. Look, just because I don't like something doesn't mean I want to take your joy away. This is all for fun and everything. Just mm -hmm. because I may dislike something that you like doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to bash it all the time. Okay? I mean, yeah. fun, but don't get me wrong. Um, but everybody is entitled to like what they like. And I can respect. I can respect a fandom. I, I can, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm okay with it. But my, my my viewpoint is to agree to disagree. You know what I mean. At the end of the day, we all have our differences. And or you might say you like something, and I might go, "Oh my god, that's disgusting," or whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to let it get a problem. It's not a problem. It's just you know, you are you. I am me, and other people are other people. And that you, as you said, it's all just for fun. So. I'll just for fun. I think energy yeah. uh, drink is going to win this yeah, one. Yeah, I'm thinking it is, isn't it? Totally energy drinks. Um, and there's George saying any drink, energy drinks, I'm guessing he's guilty pleasure, and that's fine. You do you, as we say. Glamour and I have been brainwashed. We're going to be sister wives now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> she hates NFL and musicals now and she blames you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure Karen watches that program, Sister Wives. Not my thing, but still. <sighs> yeah, someone said that, Chris. I will redo that after, but if someone can put it in, that would be cool. Um, okay, so Energy Drinks got that one. We move on to the next category, which is bands or singers. Okay, first up the bat is going to be Cayenne. Cayenne how do you say it, Veronica? Um, oh, you, you've got me thinking now. West Bloke. No. Well, West is his last name. I the, can. The dude that was married to Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Cayenne West. Kayan West? Yeah, him. <laughs> him. That, that goes to show you how much I care about him. I mean, I did like Gold Digger, but after that, it just, no. Um, no, he wasn't but mental, didn't he? Kane? Like Kane, like old man Kane? Kane West? Kane? That's not how it's pronounced. Wasn't he a symbol now? Didn't he, like, uh, took a... Took a oh, he did a Prince thing. Princes? Yeah, like Prince, now he's just a symbol. That's right, Kayan. Kayan. Yeah. Kanye, 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 Kanye was. I'm Kayan, it's not Kanye. No, the J is silent. The J is silent. That's what mm. it is. So, um, so why so is yeah. it? Good. Yeah. I don't know. It's all mental. Uh, next up to bat is going to be the Dave Matthews Band. Okay. I don't know why. I just I couldn't stand the music. I, I, there's a song and I, 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 it's so like not in my head anymore. I can't even sing it. 
Uh, last but not least, mm -hmm. Nirvana. Nirvana. Look, As in, it smells like Teen Spirit. So I do a show. Um, do, well, do, 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 do. Isn't it that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It smells like Teen Spirit. So <laughs> my, my show that I do, I don't do it regular anymore. I've done last three Mondays. <clears throat> Excuse me. Monday Night Hair Metal Madness right here on the Cape with your host, Diamond D. So I like big hair music. I know it's 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 glam rock out of the 80s, all right? To me, hip-hop and grunge killed the hair bands in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. So, and nothing speaks louder to the grunge, you know, that started off but Nirvana. So, sorry. I mean, one of them's already gone, so... He did. He's part of the uh, 27, isn't he? I'm sorry? He's part of the group of the 27. So everyone died at 27. Yeah, so <laughs> just, yep, Nirvana. There's a, there's a few of them. Um, okay, so Kanye West is a knob. Simples. <laughs> I, I just, I just, I, I never got him. He's always been a bit weird. Like you, I did like Gold Digger and a couple of other these to be songs, but then he just went mental. And then he started saying he was, was it Jeebus? And I don't know, being really strange. And now his girlfriend, his new girlfriend is a wife or Bianca or whatever she's called. She's like never got any clothes on in public and I always just look a bit weird. I don't know. It's all a bit madness. He thinks he's some sort of god, doesn't he? And it's just weird. Um, as for the Dave Matthews Band, I have heard of them. I watched, I think, on my other channel, my Reacts channel, I watched one song with him in, and I was just not impressed whatsoever. <laughs> just kind of felt him, he was annoying. So anyway, that was that was him. That was my whole experience of that, and I didn't want to push it any further. thought he was... Uh, just a bit weird, I guess. Um, however, Nirvana, I am going to see if, and I know that Kurt Cobain is no longer here and obviously had issues with drugs and whatnot, but they have some tunes. Um, and so I have to save it for that reason. Um, that was Radiohead, Evan Creep is Radiohead, unless you mean... Kanye West is a creep. I don't know. Or me. I could be the creep. Since <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or you. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to save Nirvana um, and we'll decide between Dave Matthews Band or Kanye West. So, if you want it to be Kanye West, to put West. If you want to banish Dave Matthews Band, put Dave. Um, and we, we will forever save Nirvana. I apologize to you, but. That's okay. No, actually, I don't. <laughs> it's fine. One of them's already gone. It's got a few more. Yeah. Now. I mean, there's no mom, you know, there's not really anything coming from them, such thing. And I say that to be a, a, an, an arsehole. Mm -hmm. But Asshole. in reality, again, if grunge is your thing, if that's your music, then rock on. I mean, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a flannel shirt, for Christ's sake. Come on. <laughs> See, grunge is, I'm, I'm a bit of an everything person. I like a bit of everything. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it was interesting because uh, I was I uh, was talking to uh, uh, Veronica um, er earlier today, and here's the thing about my show: I love mm -hmm. I love the '80s glam, but after I play for so long, I just have I have to step away from the show because it's just like it's yeah. just too much. No, Evan, you cannot. Right, that's hands down. Kanye West in it. Yep, I think I think Kanye is going to be the. You gotta go, <laughs> yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the last category is random mix, which basically means you can pick whatever you want. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hold this up. So here's the quarter, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna insert the quarter into Patrick Murphy. 
Oh, that was a quarter, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. So first up, I, I, I had to narrow this down. But I'm going to go with user interface tech updates. Okay. And what I mean by that is like iPhone users and Apple users really don't have this issue, but Android users and Windows based users, whenever there's a new OS or software update, it's like they love to change things. And it's like, why? Why that? Look. My Windows XP, I, I modded it to make it look like Windows 98. My Windows 7, I modded it to make it look like uh, Win or Windows 98. Um, my Windows 10 Pro, I've tried to get it to look like Windows 98. The takeaway from this is Patrick Murphy really enjoyed Windows 98. And here's the thing. If it ain't broke, why are you fixing it? Mm -hmm. You know? Like, so Adobe, Adobe just did this big update. Well, not just, but right. So everything that used to be on the right-hand side is now on the left-hand side. And it's like, you got to do more clicky buttons to get to the things. It's like, who, who, <laughs> who sat down and thought, you know what there, Bob? Uh, we've been talking with absolutely nobody, but why don't we put this button over here? <laughs> mm, gee, Bert, this sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me that um, Kermit and, and the Muppets are in charge? <laughs> uh, it's, 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 you probably, yes. <laughs> yeah, I have to I have to say that update annoy me. Um, I am an Android person. Most of my stuff is Android. I don't do, um, yeah, I, I'm not very clued up with with the proper, what everyone loves, Apple, um, iPhones and things. I will say this, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not downplaying when I when I say this. The use of an Apple product, okay. I I did cellular. A little background with Patrick Murphy besides broadcasting is I actually did cellular for about 20 years. I watched the whole mm -hmm. rise of the smartphone era. For somebody that was just coming in to the cellular smartphone world, we would always recommend iPhones just from the ease of use. So. An iPhone, I feel, is very user friendly. And what is cool is you could pick up the new iPhone 15 Pro Max SE RX limited edition red phone because they needed all those, you know, titles on the phone. <laughs> and you can pick up an iPhone 4. Mm. And they're going to look primarily the same. Yeah, you're going to have some hard buttons and there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. But the 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 look of an iPhone 4 it's pretty well the same on the new iPhone. They they they've kept it kind of consistent, so it's there's not much of a learning curve. Now, mm. when you go from a Note eight into the Note twenty, hello. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie, right? Tech stuff. It's like it goes in there and then it goes blah, 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 and then comes out there and nothing really happens. That's kind of like my <laughs> I have no. Like, if there's something going wrong on here, I'm like, ring on my brother. I'm like, it's doing this. What do I do? It's, you know, whatever, like that. I'm really not clue. And I just can't get away with iPhone. I find it, like, more complicated. Um, this is, And recently, they've just done an update on the uh, editing software I use, which I had it down. I knew why everything was. I knew how to do it. And now they've changed stuff, and I'm like, what have you done? Why can't I just do it? Right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. And, and and along the same line, I'm I'm going to throw this in 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 this category because I I got a bunch of these. So not only the UI tech updates changing everything, but new phones released yearly. Okay. Yeah. They they marketed it as. It's the best one ever. You upgraded like maybe 15% if that. Maybe, and I'm being generous. 10 if you're lucky. But usually yeah. about maybe. The newest phone is probably about 6% better than the last generation. But yet you're going to still pay the more amount for it. You know, if you're going from, say, like an iPhone 8 to an iPhone 12. Okay, that is an upgrade. But when you're going mm -hmm. from the iPhone 12 to the iPhone 13, it's not that difference no it's just money isn't it and it's like having the newest tech and it's it's that sort of thing but they do it with say like soup soap powder for instance like detergent laundry detergent or whatever you just and you and you get it and it's like um 
this is new and improved, the best you can ever get. And it's like, you know, you, you're whiter than white. Like, and then when it comes to it next, the next year, it's also the same. It's like, you've got the whiter and white. Like, you can't get whiter than white, can you, really? Like, how are they, how are they making improvements to your, to your white sheet? You know what I mean? They're not. It's just, they just put, like, it in different packaging to me. Right, and then try yeah, and tell you it again. You know what's Maybe the best thing for sliced weeks. bread? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just reading. Lenny, I just spent two weeks specking up my new laptop and having it built. I was picking wood. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, but like to me, it's just. I just can't. Yeah. Glamour says, I just left the room, put on a bra, shoes, and had a whole ass conversation with my husband. He's still talking about iPhones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did do 20 years in the industry. So, you know. <laughs> And then, and then Frank is like, I mean, I know some people who are whiter than white, but that's neither the nor that. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, but, yeah. the best thing since sliced bread is just sliced bread. Let's just call it. It's just like your white analogy. You know what's whiter than white? <laughs> just white. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless you're going to get like blinded by the sun, like white. But then the, the, if you look at paint now, it's like pale white creamy white and then they'll do like stupid things like i don't know um i'm trying to think of something and like i can't you know when your brain just goes no <laughs> but they well, do off white know. off white another white one <laughs> in my just, day if you were the kid with this box of 64 color crayons you were you you, you were the poop right yeah. They were really pushing it with the 64 colors. Now they got like the 128 and the 240. It's like, I could just imagine those titles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Red, 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 raspberry, red, red. <laughs> redder than red. What's redder than red? Raspberry, red, red. <laughs> All right. So, the, right, so okay. We'll, We'll put those we'll put those two together, UI tech updates and iPhones. And yes, we we're still talking about Glamour. So my second one is data brokers. It's what? Data brokers. Data brokers, did you say? Yes, ma'am. Right, you're gonna have to explain that because I didn't understand. So let's take for example, probably the more popular one is Cambridge Analytica. The people who, when we use these social media platforms, without our knowledge, are gathering ah, right. information about us and then selling it to other So is that like the cookies and, thing? Cookies. Cookies are part of it, yeah, yeah. But there's actually, there is a data brokerage company who's got our information and then they sell it to other companies for profit while not compensating us, except yeah. I've always maintained people. If something is free, you are the product. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so are these are the people, when you have a conversation with someone and then you go on Facebook and you're scrolling and then you get your adverts for all these said things that you've said and you're like, hold on, we were, how, how are we talking about these? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and then yep. people go, Every, the internet is listening to you. It is. It, it, it yeah. definitely is. But you see, then they <laughs> compile a profile on you, and then that that one company will sell it. it it's just like it's just like another company selling products. Mm. You now become the product. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I, I'll be right back. No okay. What we got? <clears throat> you must have run out of quarters and had to go and get some more. <laughs> Um, where were we? Yeah, cookies, cookies. Very nice. Okay. Um, and last, I mean, I trust me, I, I've got a whole laundry list of these things. Um, <laughs> automatic responses, AI, oh. if you will, uh, without human interaction. I hate this should be banned this 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 literally this this needs to be look i get like you're going to get your chat bot for one what i do is i type in an obnoxiously long paragraph just to see a how many letters i can put in there b it's like you're not going to be able to answer this you little chat bot 
Okay. I require human interaction. No, don't get yeah. me wrong. There are some things that, you know, I can call and I can get to be part of an automated line. Like if I need to balance on something, if I want to know where something is, yada, yada, that's fine. But when there's an actual serious issue that a human yeah. being that I need human eyes on, okay, I don't want to go through your automated te teleprompts. Okay. Press one if you got this. Press two if you got this. Press three to <laughs> F right off. You know, it's like you sit there and you say, Agent, 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 well, how, what is, give me a brief description of your problem. Well, yesterday I decided to build a thermonuclear device and decided to launch it into space. Somehow the clamps got caught. And next thing you know, my house is now a fire. Could you please help with that? And it's like, please hold. We're getting an agent to help you with your needs. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't mind them like an email to, and then at least I know that they've gotten a the response, you know what I mean? That I've, that they've got me email, I know that, if I get one. But I totally hate the voiceover crap that you have to go through. Like, just to ring your doctors now, like, I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but it's kind of like, <clears throat> press one if you want uh, prescriptions, press two if you need to see your doctor, press three if you want to use our online service and you want us to email it to you, press four, blah, blah, blah. And then once you go through the first lot, you've got to then go through a second lot, you know what I mean, of things. And it's like, is this an emergency? Well, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, And then you get the receptionist who then has to like tell you that she's not medical, which is what mine did the day after asking us if I wanted a certain type of product of medication. Weirdly. But then yeah. But just just they're just constant like annoying things that sometimes it's just in even in them like you said, automatic responses, there's not the answer. So mm -hmm. you can't like that doesn't work. So you've got to go through loads of stuff and then for some reason, it just goes, um, it cuts you off. That really frustrates the life out of me. It mm -hmm. cuts you off. It's like, thank you for calling today. And just cuts you off. And you're like, well, I've never spoke to anyone. <laughs> it's just really frustrating. <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, Glamour says, oh, I'm with you. I hate robot chat. Yeah, that's a PN chat box. Um, Glamour says, yes, like, what are the receptionists sitting there for? They're just for sure, I think so. And to be annoying when you get there. Uh, Sylvia says, I hate the AI that just refers you back to the help website. Yes, that really is frustrating. Um, because I did, had that issue with Uber Eats. What an annoying thing that thing is. Um, Chris said, someone told Rishi Sunak and uses AI instead of a speech writer. <laughs> Well, makes sense, I suppose. Um, the other gatekeepers to the doctors. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, if you want to ban user techie updates and and iPhone release dates, we'll call it. <laughs> well, Samsung's guilty of it too. They release they release their flagship mm. phones every year. So, and I think another thing that I could, I could go on hours about this. It's just, it's, it, they're making phones to be disposable nowadays. You can't even yeah. change as a consumer. You cannot change your battery. You have to take it somewhere. And it's just, again, I worked in this field. Your battery is glued into your phone. Now <laughs> as an iPhone user, you were used to that, but mm -hmm. you know, they they're they're making them disposable and that's just bad for the environment and okay i'm stopping it's it's your turn to speak i'm just going to be quiet <laughs> right so use the update iphone or whichever brand of phone we'll just call it um tech for short um and then the data brokers or the people who are listening and then sell you things, we'll call that data. And then the AI responses, um, we'll call that AI. So um, tech, data, or AI. We'll go with that. We have all night, Patrick. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a couple there. 
big for yourself, Chris, and Vus have got to put a bra on and need to both side. <laughs> It seems like your audience is very smart, Laney, because, you know, I see a lot of uh, mess or uh, AI responses. They don't want Skynet. They've seen Terminator. No. They know how this turns out. <laughs> it's like going into the supermarket now. There's so many just, like, I don't know how it is for you, but we used to have, like, sort of, say, 15 checkouts that you could go to. And now there's about five checkouts now, and it's, like, all automated things. And, oh, yeah. and even, like... You can even get, like, um, if you go into Tesco's uh, or Waitrose, I think, here, you can get, like, a handset and you can scan your own shopping. And then when you get to the to the, to the the automated till part, you just put that, you scan that into there. That then feeds all of your shopping into that system and you pay it that way. But every now and then they do a check, you know, to make sure you're not nicking out. But... Um, Mostly, you know, it's just trust me to walk out, the, out of there with all you shop and, and assume that you've done it. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, I get that, Veronica, like the self-checkouts are handy, especially if you've got like a few things, I think. But for me personally, being in a wheelchair, it's just made it so hard because I have to sort of come in, have to angle at the side. The machine goes mad if you touch any anything on one side of it and see it. You um you stuff on the other side of the thing, or if you scan it and you're not quick enough to put it down on the other side, which because I have to move in the wheelchair forward, it thinks I'm stealing it. So it's like um yeah. put, the, put the item on the on the the thing. And I'm like, well, I am gives a freaking chance, do you know what I mean? It's annoying. Or and then I'm like, you... Good, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. And I was just going to say, and then I've got people who are in the queue waiting for a machine who kind of took at me because they know that I'm taking longer. And what they've done is they've made the the uh, checkout parts narrower, so it's really hard to get in with the wheelchair. It's, it's just mental, really mental. But, yeah, I won't get on my boat and start, <laughs> well, start renting. <laughs> if you scan, like, say, a spice packet that weighs less than eight ounces, mm half the time it, the 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 wear thing that weighs that you put it in there doesn't doesn't recognize it because it weighs so much and then next thing yeah. you know you got your uh, somebody is coming to help somebody is coming to help. it's like i don't need somebody to come and help it's right yeah. there and then they pull up yeah well that, that's what happens to me because i'm not quick enough to put it on the thing after it does that it does that thing where it starts flashing up and then someone has to come and help and I'm like, it's the same as where they hang the bags. Where they hang the bags, if it's not full of bags, I can't reach right back to get one. Do you know what I mean? If if the if they're full, it's fine because they're right near us, but otherwise they're not, and it's annoying. But it's just one of them things. <coughs> oh, what's your cat called? This is Girl Cat. Well, her name is Girl. She um, Girl. she came to us Aww. from somebody else. Uh, she is a senior cute. cat. She's about 20 years old. Um, oh, wow. 20. Yep. yep. We love her. She's deaf, so she can't hear anything we say. But she is queen. <laughs> yeah, I do the same, Veronica. I just get mine delivered. It's so much easier and just less hassle. But now and then I do call in a supermarket just for the odd thing or whatever, and it just becomes annoying. Um. And she says, I don't want to be where the people are. And in my head, I'm thinking of uh, Little Mermaid. But apart from she wants to be where the people are. <laughs> uh, according to the self-scan checkouts, I'm dead. They never recognise my touch. <laughs> oh, well. What can, what can you say, Sylvia? <laughs> yeah, you've had places where you used to... They used to used to take your car and then put the gas in for you, didn't you? I'm just reading Glamour's comment. We've never had that. It's always been do your own type of thing. <laughs> you well, go there and then you... yeah, we've never really had that before. Um, yeah, don't blame you, John, either. Um, right, where are we? What I think that? AI won this round. Is yeah, is... definitely, definitely. 
want to pen and paper. So, yes, people don't want AI because I think it will take away, it, it takes away from us, but it doesn't understand. You can't take it away from this set script that it has, can you? Really, it doesn't, it doesn't come with like the emotion and frustration of someone. Do you know what I mean? Right. It doesn't, it doesn't, it can't comprehend the things that a human. No, no, nah, it's, it's, it's on logic only, isn't it? So it doesn't have that. And we really and it, and don't it want it to. From, yeah, it doesn't sway from that sort of thing as well, does it? So therefore it's hard to. <laughs> um, takes away from using your brain, yeah. Lynn loves to go shopping, food shopping. Nah, and especially Christmas food shopping. Oh my God, that's a nightmare. Just <laughs> let them deliver it, let them deliver it. <laughs> uh, Clements is off to thrift and have a wonderful night and afternoon, everyone. Yes, we will. Well, we are at the end now. That was the last one. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. And thank you very much for doing it, Patrick. I really appreciate it. Oh, no, um, thank you for having me. I, I greatly appreciate the opportunity. And if yeah, else, I, hope, I hope I made somebody laugh. Yeah, well, you did. You made me laugh. So I'm sure you've made other people laugh. And I think I think it's good for your soul to get some of your like, do you know what I mean? Things that like annoy you out kind of thing it's like having a a cleanse <laughs> sorry therapeutic yes that's the word therapeutic very therapeutic so we thank you all for joining us um next week we should have maximus um <coughs> I, i'm not sure of his channel name i don't know if it's just maximus but it could be I need a drink is what I need. And then I'm going to speak to Boo and a, a couple of others and see if we can at least get till the end of April. <laughs> I've gone um, blurred, haven't I? I've gone blurred. I know oh, I'm no. done. Right? I'm like fixing it, but I don't, I don't, it doesn't need to be, doesn't really need to. But yes, thank you to everyone for being in the side chat. We shall, well, I shall see you next week with Maximus and Co. That's right. Thank you, Lindsay and Alvin. Thank you very much. And uh, again, thank you very much to Patrick. I will fix his link in the chat below, um, but someone has put it in the, in the side chat over, so if you want to go and look. But what is your name on um, YouTube? It's Patrick Murphy, just Patrick Murphy, isn't it? With yeah, Benny Patrick Murphy TM. With a Benny Hill picture. Yep, that's me. If you want to go look for it. But, um, yes, good night, everyone, and we shall see you later.